today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. It's the New England Patriots taking on the New York Jets. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New York Jets and the New... Fields this way up at the 17. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their quarterback who played his college ball at Western Kentucky. He was a hilltopper. It's Mike White. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. He finds Corey Davis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. White. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Devon Godshaw getting in there and dropping it. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football left a sack and that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary don't need it all back at once but you figure they're going to need something here 17 yards to go on second down and his throw is going to be incomplete the partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable unfortunately with that incompletion right back where they started on the last snap now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. On oh, the return is Jones. Call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They'll be led out by the first Wyoming quarterback to go in the first round, standing 6-5, it's Josh Allen. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, He's an asset to have in any offense. Allen's throw there complete to Myers. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Patriots will get a new set of downs. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. 
not want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. To the air, Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up, second and 10. Now Allen. Hunter Henry brings it in. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 14. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Second down, here's Strong once more. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. From the two, here's first and goal. On play action, Allen. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Patriots will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get turned it all loose. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 7-0. now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. On first down, it's White. He completes it to Wilson. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off play action, here's White. He finds Wilson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. To throw, White. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Here's second and five now from the 37. On second down, a run with Hall. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with Hall. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now White with a first down throw. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. 
And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down from the 21. It's second and 10. Now White. And a completion to Wilson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Hall. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They'll run with Hall. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Now White. This is caught. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run with Hall. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. Zerline connects on the extra point, And we are tied at seven. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Allen now looks to throw. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Allen to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Mike Nye, Mike Nye. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they go Montgomery. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. From midfield, here's Allen. High throw, but the catch is made. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. 
And they're going to get this down inside the 15. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own 33. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Now, he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain of 32 that time. These two teams all tied after one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And off, running left, here's Hall. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. From the shotgun, here's White. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jerron Bentley. And the Pats are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? And his throw here is incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. Allen going to throw. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And some room to work. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 72 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 33 to throw. It's Allen. That's Bourne, got it on the slant. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run. Touchdown! Hunter Henry with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots have taken the lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Full connects on the extra point, And that makes the score 14 to 7. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover. 
plagued it on the last one. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's Hall again. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Out of the gun, it's White. And that is incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Jones on the return. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Ty Montgomery and the offense getting set for their next drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. On second and nine. Allen, and a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play, able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Throwing is Allen on third. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And now a pause, it looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. On first down, Allen. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. You gotta love a guy who'll stand in there and deliver, no matter what the pressure, waits for the route to come open, hangs in there, and completes the pass. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. 80 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Throwing on first down is Allen. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Reed. And you don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? The play fake. Now White. It's brought in by Wilson. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. <laughs> Give up the middle. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. This throw incomplete nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. On third down, White. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And unable to connect. Incomplete. But give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he's taken down. First down, 11 yards on that pickup. And this is the 10th carry for Ty Montgomery. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The offense on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and seven. He completes it to Henry. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to make it fourth down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he is going to pick up the Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the lot. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Allen. He finds his man complete. It's Allen. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 19. A gain there of 21 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting first down. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. From the 17, Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Allen. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be fourth down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Travis Kelsey, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. for the extra point is Folk. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. you in just a couple of minutes we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman coach will run through some of the numbers and the next gen stats from this first half of football so far the White's throw going to be caught by Davis and yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30 they'll get to the line here but remember it's also third down open man here is Conklin and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I wouldn't it. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Here's Allen. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And again, it's Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Throwing now is Allen. And he finds Parker here, complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. No matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Patriots! Keenan Allen as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots would extend their lead here just before halftime. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. That time, a six-play drive. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. White. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 
Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Throwing again on second down. White able to find Davis. That's complete. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A final shot before break. White. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And they'll get down inside the 30 at the 27. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time now. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game, and he's got a first down as well. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. 123 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Ball at a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Barrios now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
They'll start on the ground here on first down. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made in about 32. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Ball again. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. White looks to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's White. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Carl Davis able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and it just locked people down. Well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here's Jones on the return. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Short completion, just four yards. And now it's third and three. How about the timing on that one? Well, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The Patriots send out their punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. Jet sweep to start the drive. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Operating from the gun. White. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Allen off the play fake. They'll roll him out right. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair. 
because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run, too. The last run got six. Now second and four. And now they'll throw with Allen. Got the connection here to board. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? It's more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the three, second and a yard. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Allen taking it himself. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Again to the tight end, Kelsey. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots have opened the lead up to 30. A uh, familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. And now out come the Patriots. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Four yards to pick up, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 
On play action, Allen. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. New England on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and six. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. On first and ten, White over the middle complete. It's Moore. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. White. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And the Patriots are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try to finish off a game. Allen now on the sneak. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. inches and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this. They knew they'd be in situations. Zappi on third down. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 25. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Here's Zappi. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. 
And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. New York ready to go again offensively. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how they'll run with Hall. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 65 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Now White with a first down throw. Throw left side complete. That's Hall. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle back to the catch, inbound, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And they'll end up getting this one. 36 yards on the play. So the big play means just like that. They'll operate from the red zone now on first down. To throw White. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. White. Open man is Uzama. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now White. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judah. there on the drop pass on fourth and we've seen him do things like this all game it's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit they haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long that's another example right there it all boils down at the end of it to execution either you make the play or you don't right off the bat it's a first down to start the drive 12 yards First and 10, Zappi. Going deep here for Parker. And it'll be incomplete. Good job. Staying with him defensively, and it'll bring up second down. They'll try to run some clock now with Elliott. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down 
fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Now Allen. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. A first down carry by Elliott. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start and pass plays like we just saw. They're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way and plays. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. He has multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Full connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. And New York set to take the field. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. On second and ten, White. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And they'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, the lopsided affair finally coming to an end, and really no shortage of big plays for us to examine, partner, on offense or on defense for this team. They were so well-rounded in this one. They certainly were, and how about the day those defenders had, though? How many takeaways did they have? I quit counting after a while. They were clearly the better team, and their defensive effort, it led the way. For us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.